How do you create more memorable consumer experiences? Creating memorable consumer experiences, I think, has everything to do with knowing your audience and nothing to do with what you're selling or showing or, or, um, or providing. If you, if you can't be inside of your audience's head to understand what's relevant to them, what they want, what excites them, what saddens them, then you're, you're going to be doing something for yourself, not for them. So in, 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 the, in the case of, of, of our Sungevity project, which we created a solar-powered ice pop truck and ran it from Boston to Baltimore to, to launch Sungevity, a residential solar power company's uh, entrance into the East Coast, their West Coast company. It was summer, and people are hot, and they're coming off the train from work and getting back to their house or, or the station or whatever it is. So we gave them ice pops. We, we didn't stop them... And, and show them how residential solar power could save them $150 a month. So part of that decision and getting to that point to do an ice pop truck was what are going to make people smile and make people happy and, make, and, and what do people want when they're in the situation of coming off a train, let's say, which because we went to a lot of stations, uh, train stations to get commuters because this is where their target audience was. Um, but we led with the ice pop. It was an ice pop truck. It was a solar powered ice pop truck. You clearly saw the solar panels on it, but we weren't leading with getting solar, solar power. And I think that that's the difference in, in, in how you can make a launch successful, uh, and, and, and people get, getting at the hearts of, of, of people so that they can they will actually listen to what you have to say. Be because after you have an ice pop in your hand and there's an iPad sitting right next to the truck and you're sitting down on this little picnic table thing and you're looking at a big giant graphic ice pop that has this crazy statistic infographic on top of it, you're like, oh, look at that. And you're, you're sort of more susceptible to hear uh, about how solar panel solar power is maybe more beneficial than the power that you currently have